All right, so just uh, doing some more testing on the, uh, I'm doing a calibration print. So I figured out how to change everything. So I probably got uh, my X and Y sorted out, which was nice. Anyway, gotta clean up this uh, carriage bit, work on the hot end some more. I'm gonna work on a, a extruder. And then uh, I'll just show you guys some of the prints I was able to get done. Oh, bam. Okay, so anyway, this thing is huge. Got this off Thingiverse, right? So you can see size wise, pretty massive. I mean, gnarly. It, uh, <clears throat> you know, stick my whole hand in there. Pretty sure I could. With this size here, I could probably print like a, I don't know, decent headgear. <laughs> anyway, I did this. You can see I had this uh, this pattern showing up that was vibration. So, um, got that all handled. But, uh, seriously, guys, big, big prints. Big, big prints. Both of these are at uh, one layer, vertical layer. So, just kind of give you a heads up, you know pretty good not too bad let me see if I can get the seam on camera because this is I think this is what's the best part so there's the seam real clean very 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 clean that means the z-axis is awesome now there was some texturing happening so I uh, worked on the temperature and the flow rate that should be going away so just doing the 40 millimeter uh, calibration cube can't wait guys it's very soon very very soon all right. Thanks a lot. Appreciate your time. Peace.